New Hope Audubon's Leave Your Leaves program is an important part of our mission to promote conservation and the enjoyment of birds, wildlife, and ecosystems. In this short video, we'd like to tell you just a little bit about the program, what it is, why it matters, and how you can support it. We all want to do our part to help the environment, but that's not always easy to do. All too often, the environmentally conscious things that we really ought to be doing require us to add even more work to our already busy schedules. But today, we want to tell you about something good that you can do for the environment that actually saves you both time and money. It's a win-win proposition. All you have to do is to cross a chore, raking up your leaves, off of your list. So, why is it a good thing to leave your leaves? Let's look at that question and we'll start by talking a little bit about leaves themselves. So if you look around your yard, you might notice that many of your trees are deciduous, meaning that they drop their old leaves in the fall and grow new leaves in the spring. The leaves of the tree are where a process called photosynthesis takes place. This is where the trees use energy from the sun to build sugars or basically food for the tree. These sugars are then stored in the branches and trunk of the tree for use later on. When the days get shorter and colder, photosynthesis shuts down and the leaves stop making chlorophyll, the green pigment that's a key component of the process. This, of course, allows the other pigments in the leaves to show through and produces all those beautiful fall colors. The trees also begin to produce a hormone at this time that will cause the leaves to eventually detach and fall to the ground. So why do trees do this? It actually helps protect the tree from winter conditions. Those thin, unprotected leaves would be extremely vulnerable to freeze damage, which would then be a disaster for the tree the following spring when photosynthesis needs to start up again. It's actually more efficient for the tree just to shut leaves down once their seasonal work is done, jettison them, and then grow a nice new set of leaves when the days get longer and warmer in the following spring. But what we're actually interested in with Leave Your Leaves is what happens to the old leaves. Let's talk about that next. So what happens to those leaves after they hit the ground? They're actually not done with their usefulness. In fact, they just transition to playing another role in the ecosystem. As they decompose over the next few months, the leaves will release organic and inorganic components that can be taken back up by the trees and used to build new leaves in the spring. These nutrients can also be used by other organisms that inhabit the ecosystem. The overall result of this decomposition process is to improve soil content and texture. For homeowners, it also reduces the need to purchase and apply fertilizers. A healthy leaf litter layer also reduces water runoff. The leaf layer allows water to soak into the soil. This is in contrast to grass and other hard surfaces, which allow water to run off, leading to localized high water and flooding. And by promoting soil moisture retention, the leaves also help trees to retain moisture. But that's not all. The leaf layer has benefits for wildlife as well. Like trees, insects also have to prepare for the coming winter. Some insects, like monarch butterflies, for example, migrate to warmer regions, but other insects stay behind, hunker down somewhere where they're protected from the harshest winter conditions. Quite often, their location of choice for overwintering is the leaf layer. Some moths and butterflies overwinter as caterpillars, Woolly bear caterpillars, for example, hide away all winter in the leaf litter. Then, in the spring, they form a cocoon and emerge as an Isabella tiger moth. Swallowtail butterflies overwinter in the leaf litter in the form of a chrysalis. That's the butterfly version of a cocoon. And everyone's favorite fireflies? Their larvae also overwinter in leaf litter. So, if you want to see a lot of lightning bugs in the spring, you need to give the larvae a safe place to spend the winter. Many pollinators, bumblebee queens for example, also hibernate in shallow holes under the leaf litter. Other insects like millipedes, earthworms, and beetles play an important role in decomposition, helping break down leaf litter to release those nutrients. And many of these insects play another role in the ecosystem as well, as food for other organisms. Those overwintering insects are an important part of the food web. They provide nutrition for many other types of wildlife, including birds. Birds such as eastern bluebirds, white-throated sparrows, and more eat those insects. Spring caterpillars, in fact, are a primary food source for baby birds. Without the leaf litter layer, there wouldn't be as many insects available to feed the birds in the spring. Other wildlife, such as turtles, chipmunks, and salamanders, also depend on insects found in the leaf litter for a big part of their diet. Deciduous trees, insects, and other organisms all evolve together. The bottom line is that leaving your leaves allows the ecosystem as a whole to function the way it should. 
And not only can leaving your leaves help your local ecosystem, it can contribute to global ecosystem health as well. So leaves are going to break down no matter what, but there's a big difference in whether or not oxygen is available in the location where they break down. When leaves are allowed to break down in place in the layer of leaf litter, there's plenty of oxygen available, a situation called aerobic decomposition. Although carbon dioxide is released in this process, much less carbon dioxide is released in aerobic decomposition than in the alternative, which is anaerobic decomposition. Anaerobic decomposition is what happens in landfills where oxygen is scarce. And not only is more carbon dioxide released in anaerobic decomposition, but another greenhouse gas called methane is also produced. Methane is produced by organisms that live strictly in anaerobic environments. So you don't get methane when leaves break down in place. And methane can hold heat up to 25 times more than carbon dioxide, so it's way worse for global warming. According to EPA data, yard trimmings, which includes leaves, accounts for around 8% of the waste in landfills. You can do your part to reduce that percentage and help mitigate global warming. And there are other environmental benefits, too. By leaving your leaves, you can reduce local noise pollution. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the sound of leaf blowers can expose users to immediate pain as well as long-term damage to hearing. You can reduce local air pollution. The two-stroke engines in gas-powered leaf blowers release roughly 300 to 500 times the levels of hydrocarbons as do vehicles on the road, along with almost 50 times the particulate matter and 25 times as much carbon monoxide. And you can reduce dust. Both gas and electric leaf blowers can send dust and other small particles into the air where they can travel considerable distances. The particulate matter stirred up by blowers can include animal feces, pesticides, chemicals, trace quantities of heavy metals such as lead, as well as allergens such as pollen and mold. People that are particularly susceptible to problems caused by airborne dust and particles include people suffering from asthma or allergies, as well as the elderly and children. And finally, leaving your leaves saves you, the homeowner, time and money. It saves you the cost of paying your municipality to pick up your leaves, and it saves taxpayer dollars in areas where leaf pickup is subsidized. It reduces your need to fertilize your property by keeping the valuable nutrients stored in the leaves on site. You can feed the trees and other plants growing amidst the leaf litter without spending a dime. It means you don't have to pay for and haul in bags of mulch from your local big box store, and it means less blowing and raking in the fall. Put your feet up and relax. So what can you do with your leaves? The easiest thing to do is to do nothing. Just leave them where they fall. Or if you prefer, you can rake them around the base of trees and shrubs or rake them into your perennial borders. Or you can compost them along with grass clippings and other yard materials. So let's sum it all up. Leaving your leaves improves tree and soil health, slows water runoff, and helps the tree retain moisture. Leaving your leaves helps sustain insect life and ultimately provides more food for birds, frogs, turtles, and other wildlife. Leaving your leaves helps slow climate change and reduces local air pollution, water pollution, and noise pollution. And finally, leaving your leaves provides cost and time savings to homeowners. So how can you participate? All you have to do is leave your leaves. If you'd like to, you can use this QR code to access a website where you can make a pledge to do your part and leave your leaves. Every yard matters. Thank you so much from the New Hope Audubon Society and our partners in this project, which was made possible thanks to a grant from the Fund for the Triangle, Support for the Environment of the Triangle Community Foundation.